and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and in this video, we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects, as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For Time of Legends Joan of Arc this week, the team is still working on the core scenario book. There's still some work that needs to be done, fine-tuning some aspects and making sure the layout is right. So we'll need some more time before we can bring this to you. For the time being, however, we have a great 10-minute tutorial of how to paint the legendary dragon by Banda Inku. You can find the link in the description below, and it is an extremely well-done painting job. So awesome. Moving on to Solomon Kane, the production process continues to move along nicely. A production wrap-up in case you've missed the latest updates. We've sent the production files for both languages to the factory, and a little more than a week ago, a process began that takes between two and four weeks to have the print proofs sent to us from the factory. The miniatures injection has started, and we'll send you pictures of the different steps as soon as we have them. The factory has actively started working on the design of the storage solution for the core and arsenal boxes, and we'll share with you some pictures as soon as its design is finalized. From what we've seen, it looks very promising. As always, when we have more to share, we most definitely will. Now let's talk a bit about the Act 3 of Witches of Salem. Now it's, it's hard to say a lot of things about this act, as it is very special and almost anything we say will be spoiling the story. Last week, we left Solomon going back to the city of Salem, and your story could end differently depending on the choices that you've made and the branching paths that you've chose. At the beginning of the act, our Puritan is found in the city of Salem, which is enveloped by an unnaturally thick fog. He tries to find his way through the town, but instead finds himself once more in the depths of the unknown forest. The forest also is covered with this thick fog, just like the city. Once more, he runs into disturbing figures and noises, and as he looks through the fog, he sees familiar faces, the faces of foes from his past adventures. What will happen to our Puritan and how the story will unfold is up to you, ultimately, to discover. Moving on to Steam Watchers, this week we're readying a lot of things. As JB and Severine have tested Spark of Hope and moved on to testing more Fuel of War, they also cross-checked the, um, the component count of the boxes that we had sufficient steam columns and barrels for all purposes intended. In the core box, there is a scenario called Promised Pillars that has the steam rise absurdly high. So you can also expect sky-high contamination levels, and clans may start to weaponize column spawn at some point too. While it has all the steam columns spawning higher than ever, and it was quite the challenge to determine how many steam caps and barrels we needed. However, if you ever run out of components, like too many turrets have been built, you've hit a hard limit and you can't put that component out on the board. After all, <laughs> the frozen wastes of Europa are not bountiful. And finally, to hell the last saga. We are progressing very well in the game, even if those progresses are not always spectacular. As this is a reoccurring question, let's first talk about the public version on Tabletop Simulator. We are currently working on the prologue of the game on Tabletop Simulator, with the goal of making the saga book a little more presentable and updating the visuals and layout. As a reminder, the prologue is a condensed version of Song 1, so you'll only play with a shortened version of the first two scenarios. The final published song that you will receive in its final version, we will have new surprises in store for you, so there's not going to be a whole lot of spoiling. A date, you may ask. Well, we're working to make it available to you towards the end of July. On the production side, the French and English files of the hard copy prototype, as we want to show it in a physical demo, are going to the printer this week, and will soon be visible on screen during the French and English playthrough videos we plan to make this summer. Regarding the development of the game, our team has set up to work in parallel on the four narrative acts that make up the saga. 
While our developers are concocting the puzzle scenarios that will make life difficult for your heroes, the authors we have hired will be responsible for giving body to the story, the character development, and the adventures, each in their own style since each act will have its own color and tonality. We are therefore extremely proud to announce that Matho Gabarit, Melanin, Tristan Lahom, and Nicolas Perez are joining the ship. Although these names will be familiar to French fans of fantasy literature, comic books, and role-playing games, we will be presenting each of them in a little more detail each week. Writer, screenwriter, world designer, game author, and many other talents too numerous to quote, Matho is so prolific that it's going to be hard to sum up his feats of arms in just a few lines. Holder of the Bob Moraine Literary Prize, Matho Gabarit has published more than 20 books and has distinguished himself with numerous fantasy series. But his pen also remains focused on the world of gaming. He has participated, among other things, in the writing of numerous games of international stature. As a pioneer of scenario games at Delphine Software and Infogram, then at Ubisoft on the Heroes of Might and Magic license, and more recently with the very popular Quantic Dreams. Now, this has not prevented him from creating universes for the role-playing and board game scene for Multisim or Rackham. As you can see, his career has often intertwined writing and playing, and we are delighted and honored by his future contribution to enrich the universe and the adventures of Hell, the last saga. Now make sure you note September 4th as the closing date of the Pledge Manager. Well, that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care. Yeah.